Hello, and welcome back to Neon News Network. I'm your host, Robbie Fay. And I'm Eden Rain. In this episode, we'll be covering some familiar segments like Teacher Feature, Student View, and Neil Beats. Let's start off strong with Adi Andrew on Teacher Feature. Hello, I'm Adi Andrew. This is Teacher Feature. And today we're interviewing... Mr. Riachi. Okay, Mr. Riachi, I know you came to Neil about four years ago or three. And during that time, we had COVID and everything was online. How was trans transitioning from online COVID times to where we are now? So during COVID, uh, it was tough because I didn't really get to know anyone at Neil. So it was kind of my first, uh, my first go around here. So my first week, I got to know a couple of people. And then before I knew it, uh, my classes were reassigned. And then we waited. And then I was online for the rest of the year. So I didn't really get to meet many people. Um, but my second year coming back, uh, I got to meet a, a lot of people at, uh, at Neil McNeil. It was actually an awesome experience, getting to know the teachers, uh, getting to know the students, and just kind of seeing how close-knit and how everyone's involved in different aspects of the school and why the school functions so well um, and why I could be a, a, a nice fit uh, at Neil. So initially, my... My goal was never always to stay at Neil. Um, I'm an O'Connor alum, and I was planning on going back to O'Connor. But after getting the experience here at Neil uh, with su such supportive teachers, um, the commitment level that is here amongst the staff, uh, and how great the students are, I kind of fell in love with, uh, with Neil, and uh, I hope to stay here for a very long time. Um, and that I think that's what, what changed the most. It was like the camaraderie, being able to talk to your students, uh, being able to help them, being able to inspire them, being able to talk to your colleagues about different things and different methods that work and things that don't. Um, I think it's awesome as teachers, as students, as humans, we're, we're more about communication and talking things out. Um, and I think Neil McNeil is a, an absolutely amazing family um, of people that genuinely care about one another and, and one another's well-being. So I can see why all the time that I had spent in other schools, why people talk so highly about because it's an amazing uh, school um, and I'm glad that I've had the opportunity to, to see it for myself and, and work here. That's amazing. Um, I also heard you are now the senior basketball coach. Do you have any goals, achievements or predictions for this year and how are the players? Uh, the uh, the goals are always to be the best that we can possibly be. So we're going to push the limits um, as we've done every year. Um, but it, the goal is never something that is set. It's something that we build towards. Um, and so this year is to be to be our best, um, to win as many games as possible, but also learning from every loss and learning from every win, um, I think is very important. But I think we learn more from our losses than our wins. And I hopefully we take uh, one of the toughest losses we had last year, the only loss we had last year, and learn a lot from that so that we can secure uh, um, our goals for for this year uh, the boys are looking great they're practicing hard we're there every morning uh, or every other morning at 7 a.m. Um, and again I think with hard work determination perseverance uh, hopefully we do big things this year that's amazing well that's it for teacher feature hey Neil welcome back to Neil and 60 I'm your host Robbie unfortunately Ivan couldn't be here today so I'll be filling in Neil has been very active recently in athletics our senior boys volleyball team has won their seventh consecutive TDC AA championship and our cross country boys have won their 15th consecutive TDC AA championship let's cut to Xavier to learn more about our cross country team thanks Robbie and this year as you can see behind me the cross country team had a really really successful year the novice boys, junior boys, and senior boys were all able to win their age categories at the TDC AA Championships. The cross country team also had a really successful offset. All three teams were able to medal, and the junior boys team was able to win the offset cross country championships, with the novice boys finishing second and the senior boys finishing third. Overall, it was a really great season for the cross country team, and I can't wait to see what happens next year. Three offset champs in a row, Let's send it over to Eden to hear what he has to say about the volleyball team. Thanks, Xavier. The Neil boys won their seventh consecutive city championships, beating Francis Lieberman decisively in four sets. They will now head to Austin next week, so be sure to wish them good luck. Now back to Robbie. Well, that's all we have for you today. See you back in the studio. Neil is doing great athletically, with our volleyball team even going to Austin. They've got lots of talent on that team, and they could go all the way. For sure. Now let's check in with the students for student view. 
I'm Anthony Romagnolo, and this is Student View. Today, I'm going to be asking people what their favorite movie is. Who am I here with? Who am I here with today? Who am I here with? Christian. Matthew Huang. Miko. Tyler. Ellery. Sean. James McDonald. Marcus M. What's your favorite movie? All right, what's your favorite movie? What's your favorite movie? Uh, the Lego movie. Uh, Kill Bill by Quentin Tarantino. Why? I don't know. The action scenes are very uh, vivid and live in that movie. Oh, great. The Paw Patrol movie. Oh, oh, yeah. The Grinch. Why? So I watch it with my mom every Christmas. Great choice. I love my stepsis. Why? Because it helps me to be calm and relieve stress. <laughs> All right. I'd say Oppenheimer. Why? Well, because it is related to history, and I am a huge history buff. Oh, that's great. Top Gun. Why? Uh, it's got the perfect balance of action and romance, and, uh, you know, war. All right. That's it for Student View. Back to the studio. Thanks, Anthony. There's some really good choices. Robbie, what's your favorite movie? Well, it's a tough choice for me, but I think my favorite movie has to be The School of Rock. What about you, Ethan? Mine's High School Musical. Speaking of music, let's go to Xavier with Neil Beats. What's up, Neil? I'm Xavier Gordon, and today we're going to be doing Neil Beats. I'm here with Evan Scott. Evan, what's your favorite album? More Life by Drake. Right, and I'm here with Mr. Takane. Mr. Takane, what's your favorite artist? Uh, it's hard right now, but I could think of one that stands out is uh, Foo Fighters. So. Foo Fighters, I like that. It's a good yeah. pick. Oh, thank you. Thanks. All right. Thank you. I'm here with Marcus. Marcus, what's your favorite song of all time? Waka Waka by Shakira. Can you give us a little demonstration of what it sounds like? I don't think so. All right. I'm here with Louis. All right, Louis. How's your day going right now? It's pretty good. How about you? My day's been fine. But if you had to pick two songs to mash together to make kind of a mix, what two songs would they be? Uh, I think I'd go with Party Rock Anthem and Starships. That sounds like a good choice. I'm here with Einstein. All right, Einstein, what's your favorite pre-game song? You already know, Drake, I-D-G-A-F, I don't give no Money for fun. fun. <laughs> yeah. Yo, yo, wait, wait, what song are you listening to? Well, I'm listening to uh, 223's by YNW Melly. Hey, that's tough, we like that. Hey Sammy, what song are you listening to? I am listening to Scared to be Lonely by Lil TJ. Scared to be Lonely by Lil TJ, we like that. Yeah, let's go. All right. I'm here with? Samuel. Samuel, what's your favorite type of music? Uh, I personally like funk. Why funk? I usually try and go to the gym a lot. It just helps kind of like motivate me and stuff. Like, definitely helps push that last rep out, you know? Of course, of course. Yeah, who doesn't like funk? Anyway, uh, this has been Neil Beats. Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye. Great segment, Xavier, but it seems like our time here is coming to a close. That concludes the episode of Neil News Network. Until next time, Neil, remember, Fidelitas and Ardwis.